Now, with that ABC News exclusive, a mother's urgent warning to parents after her son died on a school trip, 14-year-old Tamari Jackson drowned while visiting Belize with his high school classmates. ABC's Gio Benitez is here with more on this very sad story. Good morning, Gio. Amy, good morning to you. This was a trip to paradise. The video was shot from his camera when he and the others went swimming in a wild river. We should tell you it is difficult to watch, so we're only showing you parts of it. But the mother wants to share this painful video because she says she doesn't want this to ever happen happen to another kid. 14 year old high school student Tamari Jackson and more than 30 biology students went on the trip of a lifetime to Belize in February last year, but Tamari drowned in a river. Any respect I had for that school is gone. It is gone. Just because of the fact that no information was offered and then to see what actually happened. For 14 months, Tamari's mother Adele says nobody would tell her how he drowned. But it turns out Tamari was wearing a small camera on his head. Now I'm able to fill in the gaps and see for myself, okay, this is really what happened. Watch from Tamari's point of view as he rinses his shoes in the river and walks toward the shore. Later, he's back in the river. They're blurred, but these are the other students and six chaperones swimming around him. Tamari appears to be struggling, his hand reaching out for a rock. ABC News is not showing the rest of the video. In it, you can hear Tamari call out for help three times. The others just feed away. His mom now suing the school district and the local sanctuary, Monkey Bay. I'm thinking it takes seconds to extend your hand and pull someone up. So there were multiple opportunities to save him. The chaperones are in his plain view and they do nothing. They should have been watching every single child. And forgive me if I'm angry, but this is unacceptable. Adele's lawyer, C.K. Hoffler, says no one knew Tamari was missing till it was too late. His body found the next day. It took an hour for them to realize Tamari, who was the only African American boy on that trip, was missing. And so they must not have been paying attention. This morning, the Cobb County School District tells ABC News we cannot comment on pending litigation. The Monkey Bay Sanctuary says in part, all of us continue to grieve the tragic loss of Tamari Jackson. So many students across this country take international trips. What is your message to other parents? Trust no one. Tamari may have been an afterthought to many, but to me, he was everything. A strong mother right there. You can read the sanctuary's full statement on our website right now. Now, Adele bought that camera for Tamari right before the class trip. The U.S. State Department sent it to her after receiving it from the sanctuary in Belize. While she says no one spoke up for him after his death, she believes Tamari has spoken for himself with this video. And that video is so telling because you can see the chaperones right there. What did, does the family say the chaperones were doing? Well, their son was drowning. Well, they believe that they were just swimming around and not taking care of those kids. They say the video backs them up. All right, Gio, thanks so much. It's certainly an incredibly tragic story.